So how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's having a good showdown. Let's see, we got Southside Envy in the house. Aiden, what's going on, Aiden? Taker 3 might still be here. He's getting ready to go to bed. What up, Taker 3? I mean, it's just Taker number 1, but he's got a 3 in there. I mean, there, it's just so. Taker number 1, but he's got a 3 in I mean, there. Uh, Braden, how you doing, my guy? Hottie Tom's in the house. We got Fish Can't Swim. Nick the Kid. And, um... Godflow. Nice. I just hit, I think that was my 76th or 77th match. Oh, hey, Scott. How you doing, my guy? Andres, what up? Internet losers here. Just plain old Gary's here. Hey, Gary. Um, so let me, I'm going to set my defense now because I wanted to get to about 75 and I probably should take my Wimpy, China, and Neville off and replace them with a legitimate defense. Uh, let's just go Bailey. And actually, I'm curious. Uh, nah, AI will play it dumb, so we'll just go with Sako. You need to put... Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. There you go, Sako. Sure. Okay. So, having a good showdown so far. Got these matches to do yet, though. And now get my showdown coins. So, we're going to try climbing now. Oh, yeah. Uh, ben B1 made that for me. Um, because the guys in TNM mostly know me as Cable, I thought uh, a Cable avatar would be quite fitting. IRL, what up, dude? We got AJD in the house. Oh, hey, Gerson. How are you? Gerson's in the stream. What up, G? Uh, Bacchus23. Ah, oh, thank you. It was a very nice... It wasn't technically a pull. It was out of the shard bags, but I know what you mean. Um, so I'm going with the B&B &B tag link. So um, Bailey starts with three more blue MP. It seems to be working okay. Yeah, Ben B1 makes amazing avatars. And I got Bailey with the sweater gear too, so... Yeah, Scott, I got her out of the bags in the milestones, shockingly. Hey, D-Man, how are you doing? It has been a while. Glad you caught the stream. Yeah, right on, G. I know you and um, uh, DJ, I think, streaming later tonight, too. So I figured, eh, if I'm to stream, I better do it earlier. Yeah, I was excited about it. This one, yeah, it's not been... I mean, Showdown Lately is Showdown, right? It's uh, kind of a mixed bag. That's for sure. All right, Steph, we see you. Calm down. And uh, that one. Yeah, it should be a busy night in the game. I just have kept my defense um, to fodder, so I got my bonus matches, no problem. Yeah, it definitely takes longer. This is a pretty good setup with B&B &B and the extra 3 MP. Seems to be going pretty okay. I haven't used a health pack yet, but I also am not up against the higher higher people yet. Hey, DJ, what's going on, dude? What up, though? DJ, what up, though? Oh, man, someone kicked out. Okay. It would help if I finished my strap off. Um, but I haven't. As we get higher, I may end up doing that. Because I don't have Bailey's Unlocked, and she's one of my main cards that I use. Alright, we'll just take the blue then. Oh, this should be nice. I 
Oh, Austin's gonna kick her out. So how is all you guys' showdown going so far? Not really sure how busy this stream will be since it is, uh, there's playoff football and stuff going on. Well, let's just do this. Rough. Bad. Horrible. Yeah. Lady first was not, I don't think, what anyone particularly wanted. Nice, Aaron. Sounds like it was a good one for you. Yeah, Scott, my bonus are done, and I wanted to get to 100 matches today. I think I'll be able to do that. Now I just need to worry about getting my notoriety up. That was clutch. We managed to miss all the loot boxes. Yeah, I don't know if, um... Oh, hey, I'll take that. Aw. Too bad. Nope, don't want any of those. Lita will work. I still don't think a lot of people have Randy built up, Godflow. Could be wrong about that. Toronto, Canada. What's up, Roman? And thank you. Joker, hey man, how you doing? <laughs> I'm hoping to have my Randy up to 4-star silver by the end of this month. That, that and Gooker ready to go 5-star bronze are my goals for this month. And then I'd like to get Piper Max too, because I really like Hall of Fame Piper. Oh, hey! Thanks, G! I appreciate that. Right on. Very cool, Gerson. Thank you. Showdown is just really rough in general right now. Hey, Jeremiah Germain, what's up? How are you, sir? Um, and people, depending on the week, depending how their bracket goes, get really frustrated by Showdown lately. Um, I have Sako, so that helps me a bunch, to be fair. Um, Without Sako, it would be much harder. Uh, but I run into it sometimes, too, where my notoriety it just gets slammed. So, I mean, I, I'm not used to having to stay up till reset and pay attention to my um, notoriety, hoping it doesn't tank. And, you know, sweating to see if it stays there. So, it's definitely a thing with Showdown now. And it's, uh, it's rough. It's just, it's part of what we have currently. Um, so I try to make the best of it, but it definitely can be frustrating. Uh, my next five star, uh, hopefully Gooker if I get him ready this month. Um, maybe King of Kings because I don't need TP for him and uh, VIP requirements. The tours are getting much harder all the time. So maybe King of Kings. He's at four star gold. Um, Cena's going to go four star gold next talent up. So he'll be the month after that. So Tech Cena, that is. Uh, but hopefully Gooker? Yeah, my my five-star Bailey has Escape Artist. I, I really, um, most of the time, guys, honestly, I don't always take up who I want as fast as I want. Uh, because I'm c trying to conserve resources so I can always max the next talent up. Uh, so it's a really fine line between who I have resources for, whether it's TP, coin, tokens, 
Um, so I don't always take up right away who I want to. Uh, my strongest male superstar? Uh, that would either be Dango or Sako, depending on the situation. Hey, Buck, how are you? How's your showdown going? You only been attacked two times, Aaron? Sounds like you got the good bucket this week. Let's just make a big cascade if we're going to do it. Why not? Not much, Buck. Got about, I want to say, 80 matches done so far. And, um... My bonus match is done, so just got to grind out the rest of them, get above 700. So, Gavin, people were, were um, in an attempt to, uh, in an attempt to make Showdown better, they increased the attack timer. Um, so you can't be attacked for longer, so now instead of getting attacked 10 times in a minute, you try to attack someone and you can't. So this is the fallout from that. You're getting a lot more opponent unavailables um, because the shielding, for some reason, uh, it's not working right for everyone. So, um, yeah, that would be the answer to your question. They increase the cooldown timer between attacks, and now what you're getting is opponent unavailable. Since there's and there's still the shielding issue at times, which they're trying to figure out. At least as I understand it, that's the situation from what I pick up in Town Hall. Yes, when you attack someone, your shield does drop. That is correct. Hey, Beast Mode, how are you, man? Hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, my favorite superstar, male and female. Uh, currently, Sako. Um, but I think Orton will surpass him for me. And um, I think I'm really going to like Texina when I get him to 5-star because he's a lot of fun. Um, for females, I like playing Bailey a lot. I don't know if she's my favorite necessarily, though. I just took Tech Becky to 5. I haven't got to mess around with her yet because I, I don't have her 5-star move leveled yet. Um, so not really sure, but I enjoy using Bailey a lot. Nice, man. Nice. Yeah, I want to get the silver medallion at the end of the 150, because uh, I want uh, Piper's gear. Hey, Chris, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. I think Hall of Fame Piper is a really fun card, really good card, so I'm going to take him as far as I can this month, and he'll actually be my first um, five-star Hall of Famer. Well, that that's a good question, Joker. Um, that... I don't know who all of your cards are. I would say if you have Beth at Powerhouse, it might make more sense to do Beth at Powerhouse and China at Striker, because uh, then Striker China can cover all of your um, your China um, requirements, and then you would have Beth as well. But both are solid cards. It's going all right, Chris. Uh, enjoying my Saturday, not being at work, chilling at home. Got the family here. I got uh, Salad on the right, Mrs. Merrick's on the left. She's playing some Final Fantasy Online and uh, Demolition Ranch. Salad's watching Demolition Ranch in between playing Rocket League. Uh, I. Th Hall of Fame Piper Joker. I think he's really good. For a trickster, I think he's really, really good. Nice, Aaron. I hope you get the urn this month. Hey, Mike. How are you? Rashad, how are you, sir? No problem, Scott. Enjoy the playoffs. 
I understand completely. Sweet, Mike. Great is pretty good. I don't care for Booker Hall of Fame AK, but I also am kind of weird that way sometimes. I My Booker is uh, four-star bronze. Um, and as far as uh, power gems go, uh, Orton's going to be significantly better by a margin, big margin. Um, so I, I, I didn't like Hall of Fame Booker. Even back in the day, I've had him since the beginning, and I left him at four-star bronze. Didn't really care for him. Don't know why. Oh, I've been rele relegated to the iPad. That's terrible, Scott. Well, I don't know what I'll do. Uh, so there are two different classes, Joker. Um, so both... Can I answer both? But uh, I really think uh, Zon Zombie Daniel Bryan is probably the, the best powerhouse in the game behind Keith Lee. And it'll just become more obvious at um, Five Star Silver. That's just, that's my opinion. Uh, but I think Zombie Daniel Bryan is one of the best cards in the game. Uh, Zombie Triple H also is very, very good. And he is going to be extremely good at five star silver as well with bigger health pools the fact that he can cycle his moveset endlessly will be huge nice jason that's a good chunk out of the way i, I want to get to 100 so i have an easy day tomorrow 50 matches compared to 100 seems like a lot smaller total so i'd like to get to 100. dj you started showdown in it all or are you waiting till stream You have not. Oh, nice. We're up to 50 now. Filling up. Right on. It wasn't that long ago I was doing these streams with like three people in the stream. So, you know, hitting 50, 70 people at a time is kind of crazy. Oh, thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. Brandon, they're going really well, sir. How are things going for you? Hope you're having a good Saturday. Uh, tech Becky by a mile joker, even without gear. Ooh, trickster dodge. Boo. Rude. It's okay, Mela. I'll get you next turn. Oh, how about I dodge you back? Yeah, it does, G, for sure. I'm I'm so happy with how the channels went, the streams, the channels, and everything. Like, I couldn't be happier. I've heard that, Godflow. Hey, Rackers, what's going on, my guy? Nice, Aiden. Zando, how are you, my guy? This Bailey and Balor link is not bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> right on, Brandon. I made the autocorrect. Scott, I was trying to figure out who I was going to use with female first, and B&B uh, &B is a plus 3 MP for blue, so I was like, all right, I'm going to give that a whirl. Oh, what's? I love all these low guys in here. That works perfectly for me. So the other thing, guys, if you keep attacking... Um, low people you're you you do not get revenged as hard later on when everyone's trying to revenge their revenge list i think it was back from nxt days scott i don't think it was a current link but i don't know for sure i never saw the bnb &B thing either if i'm perfectly honest right on mike well you have a good day um doing your thing tomorrow and I appreciate it. Hey, hey, Bomber, what's going on, my guy? Bomber's an OG for sure.
Mix match challenge. Gotcha. I, I somehow missed that. So. I figured it would be NXT. So what teams are you guys running for this showdown? Right on, Mike. Yeah, Zandil, uh, I want the silver medallion and the tokens and stuff. Uh, too much not to, since it's just grinding. Ooh, Bailey and Zombie Roman, nice team. Melon, Zombie, Triple H. Texina and Mela, nice. Yeah, Zandal, I've used all the contest ones so far that I have. Other than um Other than Hall of Fame Trish. I pulled her, but I still have the preview one on my account, so I need to get her gone so I can use mine um and do the matches. Or the singular match. And technically when I say pulled her, I mean I didn't pull her, I got her out of one of the milestone bags. Bailey and Kofi, nice. Lita Eddie, okay. Hogan and Carmella. Z Page, Sokka, or Mella, those are all good. Sasha and Kofi, nice. I wish I had Sasha. I'm still 200 charge short. Uh, I'm really hoping the um, the bags, those like bags come in clutch for me this month. That's the only, other than Fiend, Sasha is the only one I'm missing in that, and I'm only 200 charge short of her, so. A guy can dream. We'll see. Nice, Ashley. That's a good team, too. Ah, right on, Braden. I'm not mad. Ooh, Lana, one, two, three, kid. That's a great combo. Kyrie and Sako. Nice combo. Hall of Fame Eddie or Hall of Fame Scott Hall? Probably Hall of Fame Hall. The finisher is so big. Uh, granted, I am not the foremost authority on Hall of Fame cards, as I don't have that many. And I wasn't testing them uh, until just recently. But I would say Hall of Fame Scott Hall. Um, but, uh, that's a refresh for me. Mm, I don't like that one. These I like much more. Uh, I, mm, I would, I would probably do Kyrie just because I don't like using the same card everyone else does. They're both really good. Um. Godflow, you're VIP 13. Why would you want to... Oh, never mind. I know why you'd want to be 11. <laughs> That's why you want to be VIP 11, because you're VIP 13. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm fine not going any higher. The best thing about VIP 11 is you can do hell mode right away. That's enough to finish it without throwing anything else on there. Hey, Ronnie, how are you, man? It's really close. You can get Mela is so good, like, and she's gonna recycle and stuff. There's really no downside to using Mela. Like, she's an incredibly good card. Right on, Ronnie. Honestly, once you get towards the top of the, the tier list anyway, it doesn't matter. They're all good, so a lot of times you can pick who you want, and at the end of the day, we're just splitting hairs. Like, oh man, if it's five star, that's really close. I don't, I don't know, I didn't get to play Zombie Roman, 
big part of me wants to say Zombie Roman, but at the same time, Texina is so good. He's really, really good. Uh, but Roman you could probably use in Showdown and Feud, both super effectively. Texina you could maybe use in Showdown, uh, but he's, his value is going to be Feud. So I would say Z-Roman ultimately. Um, but they're both really good. Really, really good. So, then they're different classes, so level them both up. Oh man, one, two, three, kid or tech mankind. I'm gonna say mankind because I'm a Mick Foley mark. Uh, but one, two, three, kid is ridiculous, ridiculous. So good. So he might actually be better, but I'm gonna say tech mankind. Uh, one, two, three, kid is silly, stupid, good. At any mode. Again, different classes, so level them both. I don't have Hall of Fame Eddie. I do have uh, Trickster Eddie, because I got him from being top 20 in that showdown when you couldn't spend to get it. It was all about uh, talent up. Uh, you had to do talent up and then do your showdown coins and stuff. There was no spend aspect, so I was able to do enough new gen talent to sneak, I want to say, 17th place and get uh, Trickster Eddie. But I don't have Hall of Fame. R-Truth or Akroshan? I would pick R-Truth just because I like R-Truth and the Snowfall gems, and there's only one R-Truth in the game. They're both two of the more fun acros to play, in my opinion. Uh, Acro is my least favorite class. I would level either of those two, though, because they're fun. For me, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, he'll run out of guys eventually. Probably. Luckily, I'm fairly opinionated. Hey, Kevin. Welcome from Georgia, sir. What was that? Wife is mocking. No, I wasn't. No, I do not. You are correct. Politics is a no-no. No, 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 no. Nah. Don't tell him anything. That's your warning, Mrs. Merricks. Or what? Chat ban. Chat ban. How are you going to do that? I, I don't know. I should not have said that's your warning, guys. Did you hear that? Oof. I'm out here dodging bullets while I'm streaming. I feel like Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> she doesn't have a mic. <laughs> it's my mic picking it up. <laughs> Paul Jeffrey says bad bluff. <laughs> Man, are you right about that, Paul? It was a bad bluff. About the worst bluff. Uh, pretty much everyone does like you better than me because you troll me slightly slash make fun of me. Uh, show about Sacha. Beast mode? No, let's not. No, let's really not. I'll time out the whole room. <laughs> Uh, Godflow, I can't use that because I left it at your house. Yeah, Jack Tunney. You got it, Scott. Which is why. <laughs> right on, Godflow. You know, I was in Minnesota when Jesse the Body was governor in Minnesota. Oh, no, no, Godflow. She says as long as it's with the guy, it's fine. I just need to film it. So, we're good. I don't need to hide you. Uh, zombie Alistair, Zombie Roman, or, I mean, Zombie Triple H. How about both? I choose both. Uh, I wouldn't drop your roster till tomorrow, and then do it tomorrow. Toddy Tom, especially if you put work in already. If you're not very far and you think you can max it, uh, I'd rather have a five-star silver Hall of Fame Hall, I suppose, because he'd be five-star silver, and I don't have a five-star silver yet. 
Yeah, we would, Godflow. Uh, w w let's make that uh, fans-only channel. Again, two different classes, though, so it's like comparing apples and oranges for me. Uh, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing there. Oh, well. It won't matter. I mean, Mela is, is definitely one of the better females. Like, a lot of people would say Mela is better than Bailey, I think. Let's t let's pull the let's pull the stream. You guys have to have to pick who you pick, Bailey or Mella. Drop your one word answers. Let's see what we get. I'm sure there's a way I could put a poll up. I just don't know how. There's probably an app for that or a widget. Okay, we're even so far, one and one. Bailey, Mella. Let's see what else we get. There's another Mella. Another Mella. Mella's winning handily. Oh, Bailey gets a vote. Another for Mela. There's a Bailey. Mela, 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 Mela. Looks like that's going to be the winner by a good chunk for most people. Uh, macho easily Joker. I'm gonna do it again because I'm not paying attention. And this is the, you're seeing a big reason why I thought uh, Bailey's sweater gear was easily worth it. It opens up a lot more options for how you can play her. I never did show my training setup. There you guys go. You can see I don't even have her strap unlocked, but it's going to be double armor. And then Christian will move to Honky Tonk Man and no one will kick out. Or at least that's the thought process. Yeah, it's, I get, um... Plus three from the B and B link, Aaron. So that's the big difference. Yeah, I don't have anyone in Acro I love on the male side. Um, I might take up a uh, Stinger just to help my legends out, and I actually kind of like Stinger a lot. So I'm I'm thinking Stinger's at four star silver for me. So I'm kind of leaning that way. Hey Daniel, how are you man? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here, sir. Now a lot of people aren't using MP. I just got two because it was the cheap one and free. You didn't need the, the perk things. So I'm just rolling with the MP down too is all. That's the only showdown perk I have. Nice, Ronnie. How are you liking Trickster Rock at 5 star? Oh, Hall of Fame Booker's better, but I'm probably going to level Hall of Fame Sting first, just because I'm a snowflake that wants to be different. Right on, Ronnie. But Hall of Fame Booker's definitely better. Yeah, if I Steamboat is the one acrobat I really, really want, I think he's legit very good. Uh, Gooker. Hey, Nor, how are you, sir? Welcome to the stream. Z-Taker's good. Yeah, he is. He's a solid card. Marquise, welcome to the stream. There there are some I would uh, I would work up. I would work up Z-Taker. Uh, Steamboat. Steamboat's the best acrobat in the game, in my opinion. 
Uh, I would love to have uh, Acro HBK. I would level him up. I'd level our truth up. I'd level Z Taker, and I would for sure level Steamboat. Um, as it is, I probably will take Masters of the Universe Triple H to five star because he's really solid, and um, I need better Legend coverage at five star. So Acrobat Stinger. Really, Marquise? People don't get it right. Jason, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Hey Gareth, how are you, man? Thanks for joining. Oh, we're up to 61 now. And I'm actually okay if the tag links get if the tag link gets negated, but I still get the MP from the MP trainer because then a blue match gets me rolling with the with this move here, the crossbody. Jason, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I haven't got to try her at fives because I'm waiting for talent up to level the black move. Or the, sorry, the other green move so I can run triple green. Uh, green, green, blue at fours, hear him. At five star, he cycles the red and the blues back and forth though. So at five stars, it would switch. Uh, probably Acro Undertaker, Joker, but they're both really good. They're close, but probably Acro Undertaker. Joker has more questions than anyone I've met. Yes, Nor, I am going for the 150, absolutely. Uh -uh. Lana. Uh, yes, I, I do not like striker Scott Hall. Um, he wins. He wins a lot. Um, I don't know. He might be trolling. I don't mind, though. Um... Scott Hall wins a lot, but he takes a ton of damage every time. So that's why I don't like him. Uh, for my strikers, I want to win faster. It's the gear, Scott, and the tag link for showdown. Uh, I'm not making her, her look good. She's pretty solid, but the gear and the tag link makes a huge difference. Because you're just using this move to load it. This is how I run her in Feud, too. I never do double MP trainers. I run this move set for Feud. And then just fill the blue. You can run uh, You can run her without the gear. Just instead of Christian, um, you would be running Seth NXT. Uh, Paul, am I starting to look at who goes five-star silver? Oh, man. Um, not really. No, because I don't even have any token. I mean, I think I have th four American flags. So that's an acrobat. So that's terrible for me. <laughs> um, I don't have more than two of anything else. So not really yet. Um, no, I, I have ideas of who I want to take for sure. But I haven't looked at it hard yet. Um, I'm kind of letting token sort itself out. Yeah, zombies. The the October zombies are amazing, Marquise. I missed out on zombie Roman by 55 shards is all. And I believe it's 261 for zombie Daniel Bryan. Yeah, beast mode. Definitely... Um, Need to get moving with the cream of the crop for the podcast. No question about that. Mm. 
What do you mean, Hottie Tom? Who was the top acrobat? But what do you mean by who was? Uh, Nort, I think Honky Tonk Man is better in general on Bailey because um, I don't have Sasha. Maybe if I had Sasha, her color turn damage would be enough. But Fury doesn't buff the finisher. Um, so you're not getting a big finisher. And so you, the only thing you can do is reduce their kick out. I mean, it's big. It's going to hit 250k at five stars what it hits for uh, with no Sasha. So put in Honky Tonk Man, double gem defense, and then for the coaches, the two main colors for your opponent, and no one's really going to be able to kick out. IRL, neither of us have Harper as part of it. Uh, I'll never answer NWO Mr. Perfect because I think three people in the game have him. So that that's not even it's not even worth answering. But NWO Ted anyway. Yeah, uh Marquise, I am uh everyone knows if they've listened to me much, I budget how much I spend. It's a separate account, I budget it. And uh the next few months I am spending half of my budget to save up for spring outbreak because I want zombie Daniel Bryan and zombie Roman. Joker, I'm pretty sure that I know you. I don't know which person you are that I know, but I'm pretty sure I know you. Uh, I probably do like you. So, like, I, I don't, um, I can't exceed my budget. That's just the way it is. Uh, so, if I want, if I know I'm going to want to spend big on something, I either have to have, I have to have it banked up. And I know I want to spend big on Spring Outbreak, so. Nice, Rashad. I'm glad it's working for you. Right on, Ronnie. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, if they offer shards and with pulls, I'll, I'll buy the, the, um, the zombie Daniel Bryan shards and the zombie Roman. Maybe I'll get lucky and get zombie Alistair Black. Probably won't, but I don't care. I just want those shards for guaranteed recruit for those two good cards. Nice, Scott. 60 down. Not bad at all, sir. And I'm taking every uh, low-level win I can. Because I just want to cruise for my, my wins as well. Want that silver medallion. Uh, Ronnie, uh, I'm sorry if you like Slick Rick. I don't. I'm probably the worst person to ask about Slick Rick because I hate his gameplay. He's really good. I just don't like him, so I would never level him. So I'm like the worst person to ask about it because I'm extremely biased against. Uh, when I started streaming, I was at like 78, Marquise. I can check after this. All right, calm down. Bella, we see you. Gargano, Joker. Definitely Gargano. It, yeah, Ronnie, I know a lot of people love Slick Rick. I just don't. He's a good card. It's just not my style. That's cool, Ashley. You're one of the few that do. Definitely a great trainer. Coach, whatever you want to call it. Thingy. Person. Card. You can hit some pretty big booms. You definitely have to set them up. Uh, I try, Marquis. Sometimes it gets hard. 
uh, when chat really is flowing. Oh, there it was. It popped up. 97 of, uh, I'm at 97. Almost to 100. Uh, thanks, DJ. Uh, Nor, that really depends, really depends on your roster. Tech is a pretty heavily paywalled class, generally. So, Doink might be, um, might be the best tech on your roster. He's got some utility. He can run a blue setup and, and get a turn one sub going. Um, he, he tends to be a little bit slow to load for showdown or any of that stuff. But he recycles really well. Um, he's a solid... More in the, if more in the free to play realm tech. Um, depending on your other techs, though, I don't know if I would recommend him five star or not. Thanks, DJ. I don't care what I don't care what anyone says about you, DJ. You're okay for a chump sucker. DJ, what time are you streaming tonight? How long till your stream, DJ? If you guys haven't seen DJ on Twitch, highly recommend. 10 of 10 would watch again. I'm on almost all of his streams, so. He is. Andy's a super nice guy. I'm by far the newest content creator, and he's been awesome to me, so. Uh, G-streaming at some point, I think. I know DJ streaming, so. Yeah, last night was pretty awesome. DJ had a sick stream last night. That's one of the, the most fun streams I've... I think that is the... I'll, you know what I'll say? That's the most fun stream I've been on on Twitch. Yeah, they do say... Uh, DJ, why is that? Why do people say um, you're Naomi's biggest fan? Can you confirm, sir? <laughs> what? What the heck, DJ? All right, DJ just coming in like, "Oh, I'm going to throw I'm going to throw a, a super chat up there." Thank you very much, DJ. It's appreciated very much. No, Ronnie, it's specif uh, specific. Yes, that's a very hard word. Uh, Striker 316 is 6, and Showboat is 6. So you have to do 12. Yeah, we started talking about Naomi, and DJ gets the checkbook out. I need to talk about Naomi more. Actually... Just for that, DJ. Hold on. I got you. I got you, fam. Give me a minute. To, to my family members in the living room, I apologize preemptively. Yeah. You'll see in a second. Let's see. Are you ready for it, DJ? Get ready for it. It's coming. It's about to happen. It's gonna happen right here. Here it comes. Bop! Bop! Got him. I definitely, I definitely can't do it like DJ can, though. Acro Trish. I, 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 you know, I did say it kind of wrong. 
more bop. Yeah, I'll work on it, guys. I'll work on it. I don't have a fan bam dangalo team, though. I definitely don't have that. I, I got got. You give it a 2 of 10? Oh, come on, DJ. It was better than a 2 of 10. What up, though? DJ, what up, though? Is the what up, though, better? Three of ten? You guys are a rough crowd. What up, though, is eight of ten? Nice. Nice. It was definitely better than the bop. That's the bop is just too much enthusiasm for for old Merrick's gaming. He can't handle it. Uh, Mikey's. I'm gonna say Kofi, but they're both good. See what you've done, Joker. You're inflicting your madness on everyone else. Cross-class comparisons are not fair. My Bam Bam is actually 4-star bronze with a hollow star, so that tells you I evolved him. Hey, over 700. How old am I? I'm 40. No, well, YouTube, the, the, your choices are currently are, are, are me on YouTube, so I guess I'll take that one, Mikey. So, thank you. I don't think Benny streamed in a couple weeks, and G's streaming on Twitch exclusively now, and DJ's always been a, a Twitch streamer, so. And uh, my goal is not to be better than anyone, it's just to be myself. I want to get better at what I do all the time. We're all different, and we all bring different stuff to the table. Stop the cap. Forty-one, yeah. Yeah, Aaron. So originally I was playing and I was just going up in ranking, and I want to say I got to about five hundred ish, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get done and have a ton of matches tomorrow, more than I feel comfortable trying to get cranked out. Um, so I decided to tank and put low defense in. Tanked all the way down to 100 and then um, left a, a fodder defense in and just kept fighting a bunch of uh, three and four stars for my matches. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But yeah, I'm getting some five stars like this one, but then I'll just skip them and go to a lower one. Um, like I don't really love any of these matchups or any of these, but I'm also over 700 now. So I expect it to get a little bit harder, but I like this one. Again, not worth hardly any points at 133, but I don't care. Um, so, Joker, Hall of Fame Wendy, really good. So I'm going to go with Hall of Fame Wendy. If you didn't watch that video, uh, I don't have perks. Uh, so I did a tag team match with her with a Hall of Fame card. And she can do like 500k on turn two at five-star bronze regularly. Uh, I I really like uh, Bailey at fives. I was definitely impressed by um, Hall of Fame Wendy. The question is going to be who to take up first, Hall of Fame Wendy or China, and I think I'm probably going to decide on Hall of Fame Wendy. 
assuming I can max the MLC, which I really hope I can. It's looking okay so far. Usually I start slow, but this has been pretty good. Wendy is definitely a problem. Unless she's on your roster. And Joker is definitely someone I know trolling me. I just don't know who. It's, I don't think it's the bear. It's not really his style. Bear has a much more thoughtful troll. So I'm pretty sure it's not bear. Hey, RFX Animations, good evening. If you guys didn't know, this cool um, layout that I have with this flamey fire stuff and my intro is done by um, RFX Animation. So he has a YouTube page and stuff. Check his workout. He also plays uh, WWE Champions. Hey, Henbra, how are you? Welcome to the stream. And he even um, did my stuff in 4K back before he had a machine that wanted to render 4K. He since has had an upgrade, but... Uh, that was very cool of him. <laughs> when he leaves all on sub again. Now just check him out. RTX for the win, yeah man. I'm still I still got a 1080 tie in mind, so eventually um when these uh thirty seventies become available and I would like to get one for both the wife and I's rigs. But for now, I'm not complaining. I have a 1080 tie. It still does everything I need it to. Oh, here we go. There's a Bam Bam. Is it DJ? I don't know if YouTube will let him. I can put it in there, though. So let me find that. Do, 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 do. That is a good idea. Let's see. He'll be under my subscriptions. Somewhere here. If I only knew how to use YouTube. You think I would know, right? There it is. Do, 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 do. Copy. There you guys go. Oops. Pay attention to what you're doing. Thanks, Internet Loser. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Uh, next giveaway. I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Probably next week or the week after, though. I gotta get my own version of Johnny. <laughs> You've been carrying the competition. Are you losing a bunch, Marquise? I'm sorry, dude.
I can be drunk Johnny when Mrs. Merrick stuns me. Yeah, I just see her hitting a stone cold stunner on me. That that'll never happen because uh, she is super cool about all things except one thing, and that would be wrestling. She absolutely despises it. Legitimately, and this is a quote: "If I had known wrestling, if I had known you'd like wrestling when I met you, I never would have dated you." See? <laughs> but, in spite of all of that, she was cool enough for my birthday to get me ringside seats for NXT TakeOver Portland. Mm -hmm. So. And tell them what I said when you tried to get me to go with you. Uh, I, I asked if you wanted to come with, because they, cause they were awesome seats only five rows back from the ring. And I said, five rows back from stupid is still stupid. Did you guys hear that? Five rows back from stupid is is still stupid. But she did get me the tickets. <laughs> and it's the most amazing live event I've ever seen. <laughs> yep, guys, she hates wrestling. I'm not even kidding. But she buys me wrestling shirts at like on my birthday, at Christmas, that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, for Christmas, she got me an autograph Mr. Socko sock. And if you were on my Discord, you saw me testing it out on my oldest son. He got the Socko. Yep, it happened. Christmas Day. I had It was autographed by uh, Mick Foley, so I had to do the right thing and test it out. It was only right. You can't have an autograph Mr. Socko sock without using it. It, it really is, Maury. It really is. Hey, Mark. How you doing, man? <laughs> That's hilarious, Scott. And this is why people like my wife more than me in the stream. You don't condone it, but you understand. Yep. I put that sock on. I didn't care if it was signed or not. I feel like... It had to be tested, it had to be used. Nice, dude. The Bills, uh, I would. I think they're gonna win it all. That was my pick. Excuse me, that was rude. Uh, D-Man, she's super cool. We actually met playing the same video game online 13 years? It's 13, right? We I always wanna say one more year, so it must be 13. Yeah. October. We met online. Well, technically we met online, but we celebrate October as our anniversary. That's true. You're right. So almost 14 years. Uh, we met playing um, Lord of the Rings online. So I posted on my Discord. Uh, the Sako, AK, which I know you're in there, but yeah. I was really worried about that south side. I haven't used one yet, but admittedly, I'm getting a lot of easy opponents mixed in with the hard ones. I just have to refresh a little bit. But the only thing I think saving me is the fact that not that many people seem to have huge MP down perks. And this uh, BNB link is actually quite, quite good. Yeah, here's a bunch of five stars. I don't want any part of that. Uh, roster update? I think I just did one uh, video on that like less than a week ago. It hasn't changed much since then. But I can look at my roster if you want. Okay, yeah. If you haven't seen it... No, no. That's fine. Marquise. No big deal. Um, it shouldn't be too far back. Uh, I'll, I'm going to try and do one once a month because people seem to like that. Have you ever rage? I get mad all the time. I just 
try not to do that where I can make a total donkey out of myself around a bunch of people. And my wife would have no problem vouching that I nerd rage. Yeah, she says just rage in general, but that's because I work retail. Uh, how come I'm able to play Showdown? It's the same as always, Kartik. Uh, at the, usually at the start, there's some more, more refreshes you have to do. Um, but if you click your opponent really fast, uh, after refreshing, they're generally available. Um, there was a couple times today when I had small issues with it when I first started. Uh, Zandal... It is a Hall of Fame month. Um, we're getting a free Hall of Fame card, and we're getting a chase card. Uh, Godflow, you're a turd. Godflow has a way better roster than me. He pulls everyone, too, so he's got, like, every card just about. So don't even listen to him. But uh, my goal this month is two things. Well, a few things. Uh, it's to max... I don't know, Godflow. I'm at 1.75 million. What are you at? Portal's got my talent wrong. I'm at 1.75 mil. Um, so my goal this month is to take Piper to 4-star gold and max him. And it's also um, to get max the MLC. Yeah, I don't have any Hogans. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much always the same for me. I go into the month, I want to max talent up. Um, if the free character is good, I want to take him to 4-star gold. If they're not, I want to take him to 4-star bronze and stock. Um, this month I want to take him to 4-star gold. Um, I want to have Gooker ready for 5-star bronze, so I'm going to use the coin and uh, TP events for Gooker. And I want to get Randy Orton ready um, at minimum for four-star silver. So I'll use the coin and TP events for that. And then I need to decide. I, I always want at least... So I have one five-star ready already that I could take to five-star. But I haven't. And I want to have at least two ready and then some miscellaneous moves. So usually I like to have a padding for talent up. And I use the coin and TP events to get there. And I usually like to take the last week off from playing the coin and TP events and, and rebuild my stash, if you want to call it that, and uh, wait to claim my prize wall to the last week. Uh, Beast Mode, you've had about the best three-week span of anyone I've ever seen, but I think that's karma because you're a genuinely super good dude. Uh, Godflow is a horrible dude and still gets good pulls, so I don't know how that happens. Although he did lick Gerson, so that's probably how. He literally went on Gerson's stream after Gerson pulled a Hollywood and licked him. And then went and pulled. Uh, sir, you're VIP 13 to my VIP 11. We're not even in the same conversation. Because isn't 12 to 13 the, the same as going from 1 to 12? Yeah, normally I'd be I'd be mad with someone getting out not mad, but I'd be like, oh man, this guy sucks. But I can't even say that about you, Beast Mode, because you're too cool, so. If anyone deserves to kill the loopholes, it's you. Uh 
I'm VIP 11. God flows 13. And 11 is still pretty high, but not nearly like 13. I'm not even that far into 11. Yeah, Ronnie VIP. Legitimately, the, the, the only thing that I really, really like about VIP 11 is the fact that you don't need to uh, three-star hard mode to do hell. Because <laughs> you're having an unlucky day, Nor. Sometimes tricksters just dodge everything. It's Dodge is frustrating. And uh, my roster is really diversified. I actually don't have that many five stars. Oh, somebody kicked out. Oh, hello, doink. What do we got here? Do I even care about any of this? Eh. Right? Man, Davey used to get so mad about the dodges. I miss Davey. Let's get some blues for, uh, for Bailey here. Because my Balor is insanely not leveled, as you can see. Oof. Did not want to see that. I don't think he can sub me to death, though. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's go here. Here. Hmm. Crap. Whatever. I'm gonna take the L, guys. I'm gonna take the L. So crit doesn't bother me at all. If somebody gets a crit and hits a little bit harder... Oof, that was a lot of notoriety loss. That doesn't bother me at all. Dodge definitely frustrates me. And yeah, every time Davey got dodged, you were waiting for him to, like, freak out. It was awesome. The worst part about the dodging is losing your freaking MP and not gaining it. Like, that makes it way worse. If they just dodged your move but you didn't lose MP, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Or if you still got your um, MP from the match, you just didn't do damage... Hashtag, why is this a thing, right? Dodge is horrible. Crit's cool. I like crit. Oh, what did you guys think about the snowfall gems? I'm hoping we get more snowfall cards. I feel like there's a lot they could do with that mechanic. I loved it. What did you guys think about the snowfall gems? At least it's not like beta. When wasn't in beta like dodge 25 for 30% chance or some ungodly number, so you're getting dodged every single match? Right? I thought it was super cool too. They could do all kinds of neat stuff with those snowfall gems. You could have like a. You could have blast gems come out underneath it, row column breaks underneath it. There's so much you could do with those uh, snowfall gems. Uh, hopefully they do more with it, and then eventually we get like a month-long free card that's got snowfall gems on it or something. Survival mode is worse than dodge. 
Man, survival mode can be really frustrating if you don't have someone that can stun lock him or a really high um, protect gem guy. Survival mode can definitely be a pain in the butt. <sighs> yeah, our truth is a lot of fun. Plus, he's super cool. I mean, who who? That was such a good trial card to do, because who doesn't want our truth in the game? Like, he was the one that I said almost all the time uh, that I wanted the most in the game. So now that our truce in the game, uh, I do want the net. The card that I kind of want the most actually now is I want a really good Miz. Like the, we have Miz and he's terrible, and Miz is a great heal. He might annoy you. That's cool. That's what heals are supposed to do. But I think he deserves a better card in the game. So I want to see a, a much better Miz in the game. Yeah, they could rework him, they could give him gear, or they could give us a new one. I don't care what, I just feel like Miz deserves better. Yeah, the JBL remake, I really like JBL. They did a sweet job with his design. Um, Juicy Jeff is the guy that redesigned, uh, was in charge of the redesign for JBL. I talked to him a little bit about it. I thought he did a great job with that redesign. You could blow up a lot of the board already, yeah. You could buy turning it colors, Henbra. It's just you could do different things. So you could take advantage of different trainers like, um, what is it? Uh, Trish coaches and does 50% more damage on everything that's a column break. So if you were changing a bunch column break, you could maybe get a little additional damage there. Uh, because I am not done with her belt, uh, JP, I am running her with Christian. If I was done with her strap, it would be Honky Tonk Man all the way. Uh, escape Artist Plate. Double gem defense. Nothing exciting there. Just some low-level gems. Uh, Sting. Hall of Fame for an extra blue. Lawler. Rhea Ripley for more blues on the starting board. And then Christian for the color turn damage. Pretty standard. You know, Marquise, if it was a five-star junkier dog, I wasn't paying attention. It could have been. Yeah, I fought Corgi's um, Scott Hall, his five-star silver Scott Hall last showdown, last weekend on stream. Dango turned to him. It was pretty sweet. Yeah, I, I'm sure Corgi's got... Yeah, he's he definitely has a lot of cards. Right on, Marquise. Thanks for being on the stream. You have a good night, okay? And good luck on your um, showdown. Uh, no, it's 75,000 total uh, beast mode, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're going to get any extra. I hope I'm wrong, I just don't think so. Yeah, our truth was super fun, Henbra. He was... I wish I had him. Um, aside from being our truth the card was just really fun to play. That's... There's some of the cards that you play and you're just like, man, this card's really fun. Um, he was fun card to play. The snowfall gems looked neat when they were going off and stuff. All flashy and shiny.
I'm pretty sure the showdown coins were capped because we had showdown last week. So, and there was no reward for showdown, so there was really no reason to claim um, the coins from last week. So a bunch of people, myself included, didn't claim them last week because you can hold them in your um, mailbox for seven days. So I'm pretty sure that's why they capped them this week. Uh, I don't care for it, Nor. I mean, Goldberg, I loved him back in the day as much as anybody. Uh, but I don't really like it when they do that, typically. I mean, if Goldberg can have a great match with him, that would change it for me. Uh, but I just don't... I think Goldberg's great matches are kind of behind him. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, but I'd rather see... I'd rather see someone like Big E or um, Keith Lee or some of the younger blood get a shot at feuding with Drew, to be honest. Goldberg doesn't really do it for me there. If he wanted to come back and, and fight another legend or someone without a title, I would prefer that. Yeah, here I'm. I'm done with all of my uh, bonus guys. So now I'm just cruising for the 150 wins uh, since I'm over 700. Maybe get a little bit of a cushion. I'd like. I like being above 800, so I don't really have to worry too much. Um, and I don't know how my defense will hold up compared to straight Sako in, in male defense. Um, just for future reference, Hottie Tom, whenever we get a week where it or a month where it goes like five weeks and it ends in a showdown, um, almost always it's gonna be back to back showdowns because they for some reason, I think probably because there's not many perks in the game yet. Um, they don't seem to ever put a feud week one. So I'm sure next time that happens, they will do the exact opposite of what I said. But usually, um, they seem to save feud for week two. I think because of perks. So, I, I, I don't anticipate that changing anytime soon, but you never know. Xandal, 150 wins is strictly for the... There's If you didn't... Here. Let me go. I'll show you when I get out of here. It's just easier. Hi, kitty cat. Good boy, kitty. So there's actually two headings for events. There's one that started today too, and it's hiding in the sub menu of the other one. So it's kind of can you might not even have seen it. Go away. Go away. Okay. Bags. Hey, Rex. How you doing, man? So if you go into the Hall of Fame Legacy Contest, and I can show you guys superstars. So still need the Trish match. Even though I have her, I don't have mine recruited because I still have the big one. Um, I don't have all of these ones. And these ones I'm all done with. So they move over to there when you're done with them. And then if you click competition, there's this one as well. Hall of Fame Legacy Showdown Fest. And you can see it's 150 showdown wins. This is the second to last milestone. 90 Trish shards and 640,000 event points. And the last one gives you a silver medallion for the prize wall, which I want for Piper gear. Gives you this bag, which I have everyone in it. Um, so I'm really hoping for Lana for shards or Nikki for shards. And the rest, uh, Brie for shards would be okay too. I guess I have Bailey I have a bunch of shards for. So yeah, really Lana for shards would be clutch. And I don't need anything from that bag. Um, and then, of course, the two tokens would be cool as well. So, But mainly I'm doing it for this one, the silver medallion. So that's a hundred and what, six? 36 matches left for that. And that moved me up in this one now. Also, guys, 
people don't always get their rewards when they claim all or claim from here. So I always go into the event itself just to be safe and claim them this way. What do we have here? Bow tie. I need bow ties. I think that might be my first megaphone. Right on. Some more AJ shards. I'm getting very close to him. I know I can get to 5.5 million. Um, because I got Trish and I can talent her up and I'll get there. I don't. There's no way I can get to 8 million, which is too bad. Because there's 3 million coin hiding right there. But... This would be a big milestone too, so I'm not unhappy. All right. And I did not pull her nor I got a 3 star silver from the bags. So if you look at the bags from the milestones, you have a chance at pulling the card. And I got the three-star silver out of one of these bags. So I got super lucky and got the card instead of shards. Nice, Brandon. Well, powerhouses can hit really hard, so anytime they can blow up the board, that's good. Hey, Rex, you never DM me on Discord, so I could send you that link. Warrior is another one I'm thinking about taking up uh, to 5-star bronze just to improve my legend roster. I don't have his gear yet, though, um, but I do have a 4-star silver fuse I've been holding off on for him and a bunch of shards. <laughs> it's no problem, man. It's just if you want the link, make sure to DM me. Or you can link me your Discord name, and I can DM you. Because I'm not sure what your Discord name is. So, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys listening to the stream. Did the blog say the top 100 got him for the uh, playing showdown matches? I thought the blog said the top 100 um, people that finish with the showdown match one uh, get a 2-star or a 1-star. I can't remember what. It might have been a 1-star um, Hall of Fame Nikki. So, the top 100 that grind the matches... It's only the top three, Godflow. I thought somewhere they said it was the top 100, which I was like, that's crazy. It's just the top three? Okay. Well, never mind. I could swear I thought I read that somewhere. Okay. Uh, top 100 seemed like way too much, so... Let's... Somebody's not going to sleep at all for that one. There is a faction event as well. Uh, all the factions already maxed that. Pretty much most of them did. Um, I don't know what the reward is, though, uh, for the faction milestone. Not milestones, but leaderboard. Faction leaderboard. I don't know what those rewards are right off. If Balor was a little better, better at 5-star, and I didn't need all of my... have a hundred other strikers in front of him, I would level him up just for this tag link.
Yeah, here I'm, I can show my Bailey setup one more time. Don't forget I'm getting plus three MP from the Balor link. And I also have her gear. But I need to finish her strap, and then I would change change Christian to Honky Tonk Man. So I got this Escape Artist in case I get in a sub. This is a really cut clutch plate. Love this plate. Uh, just two random, not so good armor medals, tier three. Uh, Lawler for four blue MP. Hall of Fame Sting for an extra blue gem on the create. Uh, Rhea Ripley for 20% enchance crease for blues. And then Christian for color turn gem damage. And then her gear uh, moves that generate blue create two more blue. At five star, um, I want to say it's three. So between that... And so three for regular, two for the gear, and one for Hall of Fame Sting. You only need to pick a row that has one blue in it. Um, if you didn't have Hall of Fame Sting, you need to pick a row with two, or just hope you make a connection. Uh, so this guarantees I turn the whole row blue, and then it refills that move. Hopefully doesn't cause a pin and then lets you go Bailey Boom on turn one. Works most of the time. It's the same way I play Champa, if it, you guys have Champa. Kind of the same way you play Champa. So, like, giving Bailey this gear was would be sort of like if you gave Champa plus two on green moves. You wouldn't necessarily need to use Razar. You could buff his uh, silence gem damage or his green gem damage even more. Yeah, Ronnie, all the bonus ones are done that I can do, except for Hall of Fame Trish. I haven't had an issue doing individual ones, Zandal, as long as I go into the milestone and claim them one at a time. Uh, I've not had an issue with rewards, but I've seen on stream people claim them all and have trouble, so I know that sometimes that happens, so that's why I do it. I just figure, take a little longer, but that's fine with me if I don't have to put in a ticket. Because just like you guys, if something goes wrong with my account, I have to put in a ticket, same as all of you. That wasn't very smart, though, because that's going to make a cascade there. Should have dropped it here, or here, or here. I had it a couple times, Rex, not as bad as it sounded like a lot of people had it. It was definitely worse at the start, um, because I think at the start, when you start out, people in your pool aren't necessarily playing, and then as you go up, usually it's people that are being more active, and because of all the issues with the shield timer, they increased the, the time between being able to be attacked, so a lot of times when you're starting out, almost everyone you're seeing is on a cooldown timer. Hey, White Claw Mike, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, Rex, in particular, this showdown, a few people have had a lot of trouble. 
Um, and then last one, they were having trouble too. I, I also don't know, guys, if your league has anything to do with it. So I don't know if I'm paired up with people in league like 15 and up, if that even matters. I have no idea uh, if leagues affect who you see in Showdown 2, because it could for all I know. I do know I see Big Papa Brian and Gerson often. Um, I had Big Papa Brian in my defense logs earlier today. So they show up awesome and uh, often. In last stream, um, Gerson and I were fighting each other back and forth at the same time while we were both streaming. People were watching both of our streams and they were like, Hey, G's fighting you right now. Were you fighting him? So those two I end up seeing often. Hottie Tom, if you have an escape artist plate, Sasha won't have any left. Uh, if you don't have one, if you ever get the chance. There was one on the prize wall two months ago or three months ago, I think, now. Maybe two months. Um, that you could buy with prize wall tokens. It was, uh, no, it was October, right? Zombie month? I don't know. Anyway, it was on the prize wall. Um, and actually, people made fun of me for buying that one. Uh, but that is a really good plate, and it's clutch against Sasha and Mela. Nice, Hottie Tom. The escape artist plate is really good, especially in the female game, with almost every female running a sub, and in particular, Mela with a super strong sub. So it's just a really good plate. So here, you know, it's going to take a few refreshes, maybe. These are all... Yeah, there we go. Mixed in there, I'll take this one. So they're not worth much notoriety, but much easier wins. I'm glad you made it too, Mike. I appreciate it. Uh, keep grinding, Sushi. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> yeah, you did, Beast Mode. Oh, welcome back, Joker. Uh, so, Zandal, I will probably do uh, as much Hall of Fame talent up as I need to to get to the 5.5 .5 million milestone. Um, and then after that, my coin events are going to go towards Piper, which um, all month long, um, Gooker, and Randy Orton. Uh, might mix in some King of Kings there. That's yet to be determined. And um, Texina is going to get ready for four star gold. So those are the big ones right off the top of my head. They send out. Um, an in-app message when you open the app, Joker, and it asks you if you want to sign up for beta to sign up. I've now bought two straps, Hottie Tom. Both have been epics. Uh, one was one with nothing good on it, sadly, and the other one was a modern acrobat epic with a skip turn. Uh... CY board, I am running Balor because the link with Bailey is plus three starting blue MP. So 
Uh, my Bailey has potential to start with 8 MP right out of the gate. Does that explain why? Cool. Um, Piper's 2 star gold. Hall of Fame Piper, and I want to say I still need 100 tokens at least. Might be a little less. It it tells you where to go when they're doing a beta and the in-app message pops up. Usually you click it and it takes you there. That sucks, Jason. That would be super frustrating. Uh, Nor, I want to say 116,000. I will look for you after this match. Which actually, um, after this match, I'll show you guys... Uh, my MLC points, maybe a couple other things, and then I will wrap up the stream. Because uh, Gersan is going to start um, streaming in just a few minutes, so I don't want to overlap. Powerhouse Kane with gear is awesome. Keith Lee is uh, incredible. And uh, Tech Go Tech Kofi and Batista 9K. Yeah, that's a great list, uh, Michael. Great list. <laughs> so month long, 117,745. Um, I usually am slightly behind the pace on week one. So. 117 I'm pretty happy with 125k is on pace to max um, we didn't have coin or TP event so I'm feeling pretty good um, about where I'm at in the month long usually uh, the first week I'm in the about top five or six hundred is all so I'm doing better than normal not sure why um, but yeah that's where I'm at for the month long so pretty good start uh, first, first week, as long as you're over like a hundred K, I'd say you're doing pretty good. Um, if, uh, as you go on, there's so many points from the faction, uh, milestones that's going to help you a lot. Oh, that's great. You're, you're doing great. South side, 115 K you're on good pace. Um, so the faction ones start getting really big. Each one, like 2000 almost right, right from here on out. They're all huge. And there's not that much separation. So like next week, we'll probably get like 10, 15,000 points just from the faction part alone there. And Blitz always has a ton. So that's where I got ahead of you because I could do the Blitz. Or not the Blitz, the VIP tour I was able to do. So that's probably where I gained a few on you. Um, not able to do either of these. So missed out on those. Yeah, as long as you guys end this week above 100,000, I'd say you're on a pretty good pace and not to panic. Um, so if you're below 100,000, you probably are going to have to go big on events and hopefully make that up or try to supplement it with step up packs if that is something you want to do. Um, but I would say that's a uh, if you're over 100k by the end of the week, you're still on a pretty decent pace because first week is usually slower. Uh, 36k, you got a lot of work to do, Braden. But the tours do have a bunch of the bags. Oh, 400k roster. Well, then that's not bad. Yeah, nor I would say if your faction doesn't max the blitzes. You're going to have a heck of a hard time um, maxing the solo MLC. Let me pull up my spreadsheet here where I'm tracking this. 
and so the first blitz it maxing it was worth 21,370 points uh, you mean Wendy Jason Wendy's the chase this month is that who you mean So the first blitz was worth 21,000 points. Um, so yeah, that's a lot. And then from the tour bags that you get 1,500 points each bag, I picked up 30 of those bags. Those were worth 45,000 points. Those are the two biggest chunks of points um, this month for me so far. Yeah, Wendy's really good really really good Jason um, I didn't have tour perks when I did my preview video uh, so I did a tag team with Hall of Fame Booker and she hits really hard <laughs> I will be streaming in the morning beast mode you have a good luck with all that grouting black backsplash tonight my guy so yeah guys if no one has any questions I'm gonna call it a stream um, so you guys can go watch Gerson, and then I know DJ streaming at some point tonight. I'll be on both of those um, to to support those guys. They were both nice enough to stop by mine, which was pretty cool. You too, Braden. No, thank you guys for being on. I really appreciate it. You guys have a good night. <laughs> Thanks, Mike Lang. Right on, Scott. You have a good night too. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, Joker. I will.